States, Mexico, Canada, China. Uh, it actually gives us pretty good accuracy. If we get into uh, HP mode, it will bring us in. We'll know where we are within a few inches in the world. These downward looking six uh, help us to identify where we are in the lanes. Uh, we get different intensity readings off of paint lines and curbs, so we can tell where we are in the lane when we're riding down the street. Back. A couple more of these corner radars that we were talking about to see, help see what's around the vehicle. A uh, good long distance radar or to see what's behind us and another little obstacle laser. And this is where the brains are. <laughs> Every car should have one. Every car should have one. Uh, I agree. It went ruined. What we're running with is uh, 10 blades, these uh, computer blades, and each one is, runs a, an Intel dual core processor. It's, it, one way of looking at it is 20 laptops that would be running uh, to, to help run the robot. We can see why you didn't put it in Malibu, though. <laughs> <laughs> not, a, not a mini? Not, not, no, this, <laughs> this vehicle has served us very, very well. It's, uh, we built that a lot of these for you know, data logging. Yeah. You know, we're looking at the whole thing. So okay, so if you didn't, so so how hard would it be to put, to put this package in to a smaller car? Well, the, the if you didn't one thing that, that we've one. done is we've taken. Uh, what we're going to do. First thing you need to know is that this is an emergency stop button, so if you feel panicked or freaked out at any time, <laughs> that'll that'll stop the car. That means applying the brakes, yeah, killing the off. engine, everything. Okay. Right on track. Um, this um, this green button is how we is how we uh, put it in manual mode. So right now it's in manual mode. Uh, the car the car drives just like any other car. You can hop in the driver's seat. And okay. drive. Uh, if you turn that clockwise, it'll pop up, and that um, that makes it in autonomous mode. So when we're ready to go, I'll let you do that. Oh, I'll let you cool. just go Flip, ahead. You want to take the shot? You want to do it? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm I'm the GM guy, so you go ahead. Okay. You're the break it. <laughs> and, All right. Uh, and what you're gonna see here is we have a, a little course set up here. You, maybe you've seen it go around before. Yeah. So there's an intersection out there. There's another car driving out there. We'll interact with the other car at the intersection, so the vehicle should take precedence uh, and should give precedence, uh, you know, appropriately. Right. Uh, there's a couple of garbage cans sitting out there that we have, uh, so the vehicle has to detect those and avoid those, and um, and then just you know driving down the road and staying, keeping from the hitting cones. Um, and that's pretty much what we're going to see. So right. let me just make sure it's safe for us to launch. Hey, uh, Rich, whenever the course is clear, if you can put us in the run, please. Okay, so now we're ready to go. Uh, do you guys have any more questions before we get started? Philippe, we're good. Good. Okay. Uh, if you if you can twist that clockwise, uh, we'll be all right. If 
we can see this uh, this display, we, we've actually detected the other car, and uh, and we're tracking it, and and we're predicting all of the places that it might go. So we've detected that car and arrived before we did, so it's going to give them the right of way. It's kind of hard to see here, but it detects these uh, garbage cans. And there's the other garbage can. How much time did it take to perfect this technology. How long has the team been working on this? Uh, we built it in 18 months. Really? Wow. It, this was this was built uh, in the response in response to the DARPA Urban Challenge. Okay. Um, so they, they announced it and then had the race 18 months later.